If your arms are your problem area when it comes to being in photos, then you're definitely going to want to watch this because in this video, I'm going to share five tips to help you instantly slim your arms in photos. And make sure you watch all the way to the end for bloopers and behind the scenes. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and I help other midlife women with their digital revamps and personal reinventions. On this channel, we explore self-identity, expanding our phone-based visual content skills and expressing our creativity so we can be confident online and create meaningful content. If you want more camera confidence tips and confidence tips in general, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and be sure to watch this video all the way to the end so we can practice the techniques I'm going to share with you together and see instant results. Have you noticed as a woman over 40 that things start to get a little looser and saggier. Things are just not quite as firm as they used to be when we were younger. These days, it seems the pressure is on to look our best in every photo, especially if you're an entrepreneur who's needing to build her brand online and your photos show up next to a 20-year-old girl boss. In my years as a professional photographer, I've had countless women tell me all the reasons they're not camera confident and why they shy away from appearing in photos. One of the saddest things I ever heard was a woman telling me after I gave a talk about why it's important to exist in photos that she realized she deprived her daughters of having her, their mother, in their childhood photos. Because of her own lack of self-confidence, her kids will never have photos of their mother in their childhood photos. That woman's story made such an impact on me that I vow to help women of all ages, but especially women over 40, feel confident in front of the camera so that they can exist in photos for themselves, their families, and for their business, so that they can make the impact on the world they're here to make. In this Instagram culture, the young women make looking good on camera look so easy. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. They didn't always know how to do that. They learned it somewhere online and they practiced it in front of the mirror. I get it. This might seem like a trite thing to be concerned about at our age, but please, for the sake of your kids and the people who love you, learn these easy techniques so that you feel more confident to exist in more photos. And please, let's see more over 40 women representing online. We deserve our spot in the spotlight because we've got important things to say and positive impact to make, especially online. You might already be getting visible online, sharing photos and videos of yourself. But if there's even an inkling of concern in your mind about what your arms look like, then you're wasting that energy that could have been used to connect more deeply with your audience. So let's get these techniques under our belt so we can move on with our mission in business and exist in photos. Before we get into the five techniques to make your arms look instantly slimmer in photos, I want to share two important rules with you when it comes to having your arms showing in photos. Rule number one, is that your arms need to be away from your trunk. So there needs to be space between your arms and your body. And rule number two, things that are further away from the camera will look smaller. Things that are closer to the camera will look bigger. Just look at the size of my hand right now in the frame in relation to the rest of my body. It looks huge. So remember that whenever it comes to showing your arms in photos, you want to keep them away from the camera. So now onto the five techniques. So technique number one is to put your hands on your hip. That is kind of the most obvious of the poses. However, instead of just having them directly on the sides of your hips, here's a pro tip. Push your elbows backwards because remember rule number two, that which is further away from the camera will appear smaller. So push your elbows slightly backwards. So it's hands on hips, but it's backwards. So look at the difference there. If your elbows come forward, look how big and strange my arms look versus if they're kind of towards the back, then they look much smaller and less prominent. Technique number two is making use of pockets. If you're wearing trousers or a skirt or dress that has pockets, you definitely want to be making use of those pockets. So putting your hands in your pockets will bring your elbows away from your body. So it's bringing your arms away from your trunk. And because you're putting your hands in your pockets, you're also then pushing your elbows backwards. So use your front pockets and your back pockets. If you don't have front pockets, like right now, these trousers I'm wearing don't have front pockets, then you can use belt loops. If you've got belt loops in your trousers, put your thumbs in your belt loops. And if you don't have belt loops, like these trousers don't, then just tuck your thumbs into the waistband of your trousers. So it, come, it has 
a similar effect. And then same is true for your back pocket. Relax your hands into your back pockets and you'll see that your elbows naturally go backwards and it naturally pulls your arms away from your body. Technique number three, if you don't have pockets in your trousers, your dress or your skirt, then you wanna use the thigh hamstring slide. You can place your hands on your thighs and simply slide them upwards. Put them towards the back of your thighs, so more on your hamstrings, and slide them upwards so that there's a natural bend in your elbows. Then what you wanna do is imagine that there is an imaginary string that's actually pulling one of your elbows behind your back. Best to do this kind of asymmetrically, so I like to introduce asymmetry into this so that not both hands are exactly the same, uh, especially if you're having a wider shot. If you're having just a head shot, that's no problem because you won't see what your hands are doing and it will slim your shoulder area. But if it is a wider shot so that you're, you're seeing more of your body, then you definitely want to have asymmetry in the placement of your hands so that one is higher than the other and that that string behind, that imaginary string behind your back is pulling one elbow more than it is pulling the other elbow. But you can see that this technique forces you to kind of roll your shoulder backwards as you tuck that elbow slightly behind you because of that string that's pulling. And being very mindful of not letting your shoulders come up when you slide your hands up your thighs. So keep your shoulders down, slide up your, your hands, bend at the elbow, and then imagine that string pulling one elbow behind your back. Technique number four is using an object to lean on. So I've got a bar stool here. And so if I sit on the bar stool and then I lean back, and then I lean back onto the back of the um, bar stool, you can see that it forces my elbow back, it forces my arm away from my body, and we've got a nice gap here. And yeah, that's a nice approach. Otherwise, if you are straddling a chair or standing behind a chair, then you can also use it like that. And again, it creates space between your arms and your body. So you can lean onto the back of a chair or this could be a desk or a table or something like that. And then finally, technique number five. Now this is a tricky one because a lot of people are against doing crossed arms in photos because they might feel like it's a closed down body language and we're gonna be talking about body language in a future video. So make sure you're subscribed to come back for that. I like this pose because it's kind of a confident pose. However, there is a right way and a wrong way of crossing your arms for photos, especially for women. If you're a man, then you can just straight up cross your arms. And the reason I say this is because you can see here, as I'm crossing my arms and I'm letting gravity do the work, what's also happening is that I'm actually, this hand underneath here is pushing against my bicep, so it makes my bicep look a bit bigger than it is. And then on this side, I'm pinching this uh, bicep here, my thumb is underneath, and because I'm pinching it, my arm spreads, the flesh of my arm spreads wider than what it is. So if you're a man, then this is great because you can look all buff and, you know, manly. But if you're a woman and you're not wanting these big arms, but you do want the crossed arm pose, then here's a pro tip that I have not seen anybody else talk about. You're hearing it for the first time right here. Cross your arms as you would. But instead of relaxing into it, in terms of letting gravity pull your arms down into your body and towards the floor, use your bottom arm, this arm that's underneath, engage it, engage the muscles in your shoulder and your upper arm here to lift the top arm away from your body. You're using your strength here to pull both arms away from your body. And then what happens is there's a gap over here. So this hand is no longer pushing up against your bicep. There is a gap there. And so this part of your arm stays, uh, you know, slim as what it is. And then on this side, just gently rest your fingertips onto your bicep and you can bring your thumb forward as well so that it's not pinching your bicep. So just bring it forward here. Right, And so there you can see that it's a much more pleasing arm size when you're doing the, the crossed arms in this way. Be careful not to bring your shoulders up, otherwise that will just not look natural. So, so now let's try these out. Stand in front of a mirror with me while we go through the motions and you'll instantly see the difference in how much slimmer your arms look. Hands on hips with elbows back. From pockets front, pockets back. 
hands sliding up your thighs and hamstrings with one elbow being pulled with an imaginary string behind your back, leaning on the back of a chair or on the back of the chair behind you, and then finally practicing your crossed arms technique. What you'll see is slimmer arms instantly. If you want to try out some more poses, then check out my 101 poses manual for women linked up here and linked in the description down below. These are the same tips I share with my clients during our portrait sessions in the studio, and they're amazed by the results. I'd love to hear how they work for you. Let me know in the comments below if you tried these techniques, which one you liked most, and what photos you plan to use them in. I'd love to give a shout out to Lauren Kinghorn, who commented on my last video about the pros and cons of virtual photo shoots. Lauren was so surprised that I had the ability to control her phone camera from my phone. Thanks Lauren for the comment. This is one video in a series of simple techniques women over 40 can apply to look and feel more confident in front of the camera. I hope you enjoyed these tips and if so, make sure you subscribe because in the next video, I'm gonna share tips for hiding your turkey neck and double chin. And check out the camera confidence playlist just here. Link is in the description. And if you're not confident online, but you can't quite put your finger on what's holding you back, take the free online confidence quiz to find out where you should focus your efforts first. See you in that video then you're definitely gonna wanna watch this because in this video, I'm gonna share, I don't know how many tips. <laughs> Five tips. If your arms are As a woman over 40, have you noticed that things start to get a little photo? Especially if you're on, oh goodness, I can't talk today. The true rules of floral. Before we get into the arms, For instance, if you are away from your trunk and the bob directly on the and then imagine that string pulling behind one of those and then imagine that elbow and then imagine that string pulling one elbow behind the back of your and then imagine that string 